Hi guys, welcome to Soumya Srinivasan YouTube channel. Most of us from our childhood, we, we might have imagined to have our own visiting card. Either we become a business woman or else a job professional or else a freelancer, whatever profile we are into, we always dreamt of having a like a dream visiting card. But a small correction happens also, how much ever stock visiting card we have with us, we'll have to throw it away. Even we change our job from one job to the other or else we change our business domain name, website name, whatever changes happens, all our stock will go waste. This is economically not friendly as well as environmentally not friendly. So an alternate option which is in the trend is called e-visiting card electronic visiting card a normal visiting card which is in the electronic format it is virtual normal visiting card like only it will appear if you touch the website address your website address your website will open if you touch your instagram id instagram account will open it is like a live visiting card you can share your profile online with anybody you can like just keep it as your whatsapp status or else you can keep it in your instagram story you can keep it in your profile if people touch it your profile will open it is very lively. They did not come and ask you what is your website address, give me your website address, how can I go and order, no more questions. Everything is live, everything is electronic, everything is virtual. In this video, I will let you know how to design a visiting card as well as an e-visiting card. For designing a normal visiting card or else an e-visiting card, I am going to suggest you a platform called Canva. It can be used in a website format or and also in a mobile app format. Today, I am going to suggest you a website format. Before you start designing, log in or sign up using your mail id. As I already have an account in Canva, I am going to just log in with the help of my mail id. Once you log in in Canva, it will ask you for what purpose you are going to design your a visiting card or else social media post or whatever it is. Uh, so there are several options out of which I am going to select my particular option which is small business. You can define your own option in this particular state. After you answer this question, two more questions will come across like whether you wish to upgrade to the paid version or else whether you wish to start a team in Canva. If you wish to do all those things, you can select or else click on maybe later and this is how the home screen of Canva appears. In the search box, just type visiting card. Don't do any spelling mistakes here because there are no autocorrect options in Canva. If you type with the wrong spelling, it will tell that there are no templates available. So type with the correct spelling. I am going to search for visiting cards here. Once you search visiting cards and click enter, a new for, a new page opens and this is how it appears. Out of which you can select whichever template you like. Most of the templates look very normal. In, in certain templates at the bottom right corner you will find Indian rupees symbol. That denotes that particular template is used only in paid version. If you want you can purchase that specific template alone or else go for any other free template. Now for class purpose I am going to choose only free template. Uh, the template which is at the right side with the yellow white uh, background and font is the one I am going to select. You can choose according to your preference with photo, without photo, with logo, without logo. Whatever options you wish to have you can select. I am going to select this particular template. I have clicked on that and another page opens here. The left side uh, your toolbox appears and your right side is the workspace. As I am using mobile phone and auto rotate for me to help screen recording the size looks very minimal here. In normal mobile view your uh, screen size will be normal so you won't find this much difficulty in uh, editing that particular image. So initially the left side the toolbox options are available. So with the help of that toolbox I am going to replace the particular image. Uh, the man's image I'm going to replace with my own image. Just select the image, option delete will appear. Click on delete image alone. After that, at the left side, if you scroll down, you'll find an option called uploads. Click on uploads and go into upload files. If you are using in mobile phone, your gallery will open. If you are using in computer, your my computer folder will open. From which you can select your business logo or else your own photo, whichever you wanted to have in your visiting card, you can select that particular option. So in my gallery, I'm going to select my own photo, which I wish to have in my visiting card. So select that particular photo and click on done at the top right corner. So once it is completely loaded, the blue image should be completely loaded. Once it is loaded, your image will be added to canvas library at the left side. So drag that particular image, don't uh, take your hand off the screen, drag it completely and place it in the old images place so it will be added. The next we will go to edit text. So edit, whichever text you wanted to edit, a name called Sean Garcia is present, no? I wanted to change it to my name means just double tap on that particular name, your keyboard will appear. 
you can enter your name in that particular place so i am going to enter my name there whichever name you wanted to enter you can enter in that particular place then below position called general manager is seen so i am going to double tap the general manager and change it into my company's name which is nirguna so i'll enter nirguna in that particular place likewise you can edit the phone number mail id website address or any other social media any other address you wanted to add everything you can add in the similar format this is how you will be designing your visiting card now i let you know how to design an e visiting card so i'm going to click on the existing website i'm going to edit it with my own website after i change my website name in that particular column I am going to right click on that. If I right click, a menu like this will appear. In that menu, select link option. A dialog box appears wherein type the domain of your website with no spelling errors. Like my domain is nirguna.in. So I am going to enter nirguna.in. Once I enter, an option called link added will be visible on your screen which means your, webs your visiting card has become live. Your website link added to has been added to your visiting card. Likewise, you can add whichever link you wanted to add. Like you can add your uh, Instagram pages link, you can add your Google map link, you can add your Google business link. After adding all those things at the top right corner, you will find an upward arrow mark. If you press it, an option called download will appear. If you click on that download, save this particular visiting card in PDF format for all the link to be active.